So over here, you can see that I have a character in a blank area. But what I want to do is I want to make it more interesting by adding in background and foreground. So in order to do that, it can be a Photoshop or an Illustrator file or an image. Simply go to file and click on import right over here. And then I have my background and foreground files on my TutorTube drive right here. So I'm just going to go over there and then go around into the background foreground folder just like this. So foreground background FB, that's what I named it. So let me just go inside and I'm going to bring in, let's say foreground, uh, maybe background first and then import it out. So once I import it out, it is imported as a puppet, even if it is not a puppet. I'm just going to bring this down over here uh, below the character, just like this. And there's the background, as you can see. So I can scale this out right here. So let me just go, go ahead and scale this out right here. This is the background. I can also uh, go around and change the position. So let me just uh, bring the position up right here, just like this. Okay, so there you go. This is the place right here. So now what I want to do is I want to add in a foreground over here as well. So, so to add in a foreground, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go to uh, import over here again and I'm going to go around over here on foreground and click on import. So once I do that, the foreground has been imported as well. So I'm just going to bring this down just like this and there you go. There's the foreground over there. So now in order to arrange it out in proper place, I'm going to go to foreground right here and then I'm going to scale this up right here just like this and I'm going to go around and change the position. So let me just change the position just like this over here. So you can see that this is how it looks now, just like this. I can scale this down as well if I want to. So I'm just going to go around with position and I'm going to uh, shift the position all the way on to the right, right here, just like this, as you can see. And this is how it looks. So now uh, the foreground is on the top right here and the character is here. If I were to bring the character up from the foreground, you can see that the character remains at top. But now what I've done is that I've brought the 2D character for character animator layer below foreground right over here, just like this. So now what happens is that background is at the back right here, which does not cover up anything. Then you have the 2D character and then you have the foreground. But still you can see that the character is floating up in the air. So I don't want that. I want to scale the character out a bit and then range it out a bit. So let me just scale this down right over here. That's too big. So I'm just going to go around. No, that scale is not there. So let me just get it back to 100% right there. And now I'm going to change the position right here. So let me just bring down the position and that's it. There you go. There's the character. So now if I were to use this, you can see that the character walks out and everything and it's in proper place, just like that. So I can go over here and then let me just go around over here and I'm going to increase out uh, the speed over here as well for start stop easing right over here. So that there's a bit of an easing right here, just like this. So that seven seconds is too long. So 0 0.3 right over here. There you go. The character is working out just like that. So just going to go around over here and change out the body speed just like this a bit so that the character actually walks as well. So if I were to press the right arrow key, you can see that the character is walking right here. So let me just go around over here. Slight length is going to be a bit less, just like that. The character is walking out right here. And let me just go around, bring down the position over here, just like this. Okay, so the character is walking, as you can see right there. Let me just increase the uh, speed right there. So body speed is going to be around 100% itself, just like this. So there you go. There's the character right there. There's no sliding whatsoever. So now you can see that the character is behind the tree just like that and it is much more natural looking compared to what we had before just like this and this is how you can rinse out the background the foreground uh, so that the, the character seems as if he or she is in a real environment just like this so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe